So the first thing I want you guys to do, at least for this one, is to be able to plot the points. So hopefully in this one you guys recognize we have a radius of 3, so we can kind of think about like 3 rings here. And then we have the angle negative pi over 3, which is roughly going to take us to right there. Right? Now basically my question is asking you, can we represent this like three different ways? Well, um, one of the ways we could represent it is we did the negative angle. Couldn't we do this as the positive angle? Yeah. Why don't we do 3 comma, let's see, 5 pi over 3. Does that work? Yes, right? Um, now, also, hopefully you guys recognize, Oh, if we can do the negative angle, couldn't we just keep on adding and subtracting 2 pi? Yeah. So I could add 2 pi again to that, and I'd get 17 pi over 3. Or I could subtract 2 pi from this, and I'd get negative 13 pi over 3. Now you might say, oh, no, never mind, sorry. What am I doing? I was doing 6. So that's uh, 6, so that'd be 11, sorry. Uh, no, yeah, that's 11. And then subtracting that would be a negative 7. Mind is going crazy. All right, so you can say there's three different representations. Perfect. Now, what if it was a multiple choice question, and there was a negative, and there's another one? And you need to determine, does it represent another representation or not? And let's say it's not one of those added and subtracted. So this is the confusing part, which I got to like try to make sure we conceptualize. Again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, think of the three. Yes? Uh, why did you jump 6? Because 6 pi over 3 is equal to 2 pi. Right? Here's the angle. If you just add 2 pi to it, you just go back to the same angle. Right? Or if you subtract 2 pi, you're just going around the circle. Right? So these all work, just adding and subtracting 2 pi basically to that angle. If you just add and subtract 2 pi, that's where all those angles came from. But please remember, I want you guys to think of the radius as the scalar. We talked about it over there really is like a scalar. So again, think about this. Like We could rewrite this problem. Let's redo this one. As 3 times the cosine of 5 pi over 3 um, sine of pi over 3. So if we wanted to write this in rectangular form, we could write it like this, correct? This in rectangular form could be rewritten like that. Yes? No? OK. So. I want you guys to understand, think of this 3 as a scalar. Now let's go back to vectors real quick to, make, to really, really make sense of this. If you guys remember, when I gave you a vector, I gave you a vector like, um, let's say I said, graph the vector 3, 2. And you'd say, OK, you just go 3 units over, 2 units up. And you're like, man, I kind of wish we could go back to vectors, right? That was kind of fun. Now what if I told you to say, why don't you graph negative 3, 2? So remember, the negative is a scalar, right? So that all that basically did is reflected this about the origin. Do you guys see what the negative did, right? So what if this 3 was a negative? Would it change the actual distance away from the origin? No. If I made this, lost my blue. If I made this a negative, it would just reflect this over here. Yes? However, we can't use this angle, though. Like, this still wouldn't give you this angle. So my point is, here's the angle for the negative. Here's the real point. We know the black is the point, right? So if I can find this angle but reflect it over, then I can get to this point. So what is this angle? 2 pi over 3. So if I wrote negative 3, 2 pi over 3, that is another representation. Again, think about it. Forget the negative for a second. Would you guys agree that that is 3, 2 pi over 3, right there? But I want it to get to here. So then what do I got to make the radius? Negative. Now it's that point. All right. Or you could also do the negative version, which would be negative um, what, 4 pi over 3. So again, think of it as 3 pi over 3, 4, negative 4 pi over 3, 3. And then the negative reflects, reflects it over. All right. 
Now, to give you guys a little bit of comfort, this is confusing. 